All right, I've had a lot of people ask me to do a walk around video of the upgrades we've done so far to the Wyoming Gladiator. Um, they're really interested, love the way it looks and love what they're seeing. So I thought I'd do a quick walk around and tell everybody what we've done to it so far. Um, we'll start off right here with the winch. This is a Warren 10S winch uh, with the mounting bracket. Um, our fair lead is a custom one done by Impulse Opera. That's who's done most of the major work to my Jeep. You look under here, our last upgrade was Steer Smart Yeti XD uh, track bar and tie rod. Uh, we we're running a Falcon um, steering stabilizer to pair with our Steer Smart steering. We went ahead and did a, did a Synergy um, track bar and sector rod brace. I think this is a really important upgrade for anybody that's running a lift on their Gladiator or planning on doing much off-roading. Uh, it really stiffens that area up. Uh, we're running Walker Evans 17-inch V-Block wheels, uh, BFG 37 1250 R17 mud terrain TA tires. Uh, we're running Falcon 3.3 shocks. I really like the way the Falcons are handling. Um, in all aspects and I really like their adjustability right here. Uh, you can adjust the main parts of it right there with the red dial and with the black dial you can turn it to fine-tune your shocks. Uh, works really great. We're on a rock slide engineering step sliders. They're really great. They're great for kids. Uh, makes it really easy to get in and out of the gladiator. And they function really well. You can turn them off with the switch under the dash if you don't want them on while you're out off-roading. If you plan on off-roading and you plan on the rock slide step sliders, be sure and upgrade and get the armor with them. Install armor to protect your investment. Back here, we're also running the Falcon shocks on the back. Same adjustability. Now we have TerraFlex limit straps on the back. Um, all of the lift kit is Evo manufacturing. It's the uh, four and a half inch um, stage four plus kit. If you're gonna put the lift on, go ahead and go with the stage four plus so you have the adjustability and you can get your pinion angles and everything like that, right? Uh, CB antennas. This is a big question for a lot of people. I've seen it asked a lot. I went and I got these mirror mounts from a local truck stop. Uh, that's where my antennas came from also. I really liked these mirror mounts. There's two holes already in the Gladiator bed right here. Uh, it's kind of hard to get nuts on the bolts on the back side, but you can do it without moving the bed or anything. Um, you have to enlarge the top hole just a little bit to get that upper bolt in, but I really liked a clean look. Um, I'm only running the cable to this side. I didn't run it to the other side. I'm running dual antennas just because I like the way that looks more than anything. Um, but I'm not, I don't have a cable run to that. I wanted to run a three foot whip, but I ended up with a four to get my SWRs in range. Uh, if you install a CB and you haven't done it before, you need to make sure and get an antenna and to tune your SWRs if you want your CB to last. Uh, coming around this side, <coughs> Again, rock slide engineering step sliders with the armor. Um, we're running GPCA um, GP grips. They're really nice, they're good and stable. If you look right under here, this is where my CB's mounted. Uh, it's really convenient, out of the way location. I'm running a Uniden uh, Bearcat off road series. It actually has a quick release mount. I did have to run two two screws through my tunnel right there to hold that in. It's mounted good and solid and it's up out of the way. I haven't decided where to mount my mic exactly yet. Uh, this is the mic, all your controls are right on it. Uh, it's great for off-road, it's light, it's lightweight, it's out of the way, um, and you don't have a lot of room taken up by the CV. Um, underneath, Come over here. We did change our exhaust out not too long ago. Uh, Moab, we ran Moab rim. It was really hard on the stock exhaust. The stock exhaust hangs down pretty far. Let me get a, come under here. We went with the MagnaFlow crawler exhaust. 
One of the reasons I did that is it's really tucked up high. As you can see above the frame and it has really good clearance. One of our next upgrades is drive lines. We've ordered some drive lines for Impulse Off-Road. Um, Adams drive lines. Uh, Impulse <clears throat> measured them so we can get the right setup. If you're going to lift your Jeep, a lot of people are saying you don't need drive lines with a four and a half inch Evo lift. I can tell you right now, you're gonna need a front drive line for sure. Uh, you'll lose your CV joint coming off the transfer case. Uh, the boot will tear, so dirt will get in there and stuff, and you will lose that CV joint. So I have those ordered, and I'm going to go ahead and get them on as soon as they come in. Uh, for now, that's pretty much all we've had with Gladiator. It's been great. We've got about 9,500 miles on it now. Our next upgrade is going to be this AFP Power GT Momentum Intake. And of course, it's the Automotive Taser to reprogram our tire size. That's pretty much the, the only reason I'm running this is just to calibrate the speedometer for the tire size. And I look forward to sharing this with you and sharing any future upgrades with you. Thank you.